This is my first moon trekking uh, in, in 2016. Um, I've seen clips on YouTube last year. I was living out in London uh, up until March this year. And when I was checking out about joining CBRE in Hong Kong, I was looking at clips to see what the team was all about. And the first thing I found was Moon Trekker, um, which was a brilliant, brilliant advertisement for the company in terms of what they do for the community and how everyone gets together and does a really fun event. So as soon as I saw that, I thought, you know, that'd be really cool to join it. And as soon as the announcement came out, I was one of the first people to sign up. So it's a really cool event. It's the first time I've ever done it, but I'm really excited. When I started CBRE about eight months ago, um, everybody spoke about one of the perks of working for CBRE was getting access to Moon Checker and that it was a great, fun team event to take part in. Just a great challenge to myself because um, I've never like a sports lover in my entire life. And then since I joined CBRE, like my colleagues are really active. They bring me to hike and I yeah, started um, liking hiking. My teammates really, like, they really doing a great job. So overall, I really, really enjoy um, hiking with them. My training starts pretty well. We have a circuit training every Monday and Wednesday, and it's good to train with your colleague. And we went to a hike uh, just half of the track a few weeks ago and we learned all the technique from last year's champion. This is my third time. Uh, <laughs> first year I said I'd never do it again and three years down, down the line I'm doing it again. <laughs> This is the green machine from CBRE. We're here, we're ready to go for the Moon Trekker 2016. It's amazing, it's great to have such a like sea of friendly faces here to do it with you. It just gives you a bit more confidence and makes it a bit more exciting. Feeling nervous, but to be honest, just ready to, to get started and to get on the road. We're all feeling good about it right now. We're keeping each other going. And um, I can't wait to get to the finish line. It's great seeing the CBRE team when you get through to the checkpoints, it, uh, it gives you a real lift. We're at checkpoint number two, it's near uh, midnight now, so we're just waiting, waiting for uh, some of our other CBRE uh, guys to come through. A bunch of them are, has already came through, we're trying to feed them, give them energy with drinks, uh, uh, food. You know, it feels good to, to have support around us, and uh, looks like we're about halfway done. So. Rock on. We're at checkpoint 3 and 27 CBRE guys have come through. Everyone's yeah. doing okay so far, uh, coping pretty well and um, we've still got probably about 50, yes. uh, 50 or so to go. Feeling strong, feeling strong. Third time and we're, we're going to beat the sun the whole way this year. Feel terrible, absolutely terrible. What I would like to do now is to jump and fly and find my way home. It was just survival, pure survival. Yeah. We just survived the Lantau Peak. It's amazing, wonderful experience. Halfway through, though, I tell you, I'm not sure if I could have made it. Yeah, I was we'll do it. relying on each other. Now that we're down the, the downward slope, it feels like uh, we're near the finishing line. We yeah. get amazing views here in Hong Kong as well. And if you're watching this and you haven't done this before, this bit is the best part. You know, there's a lot of camaraderie involved. So I think there's 70 of us out there. You're, uh, you know, obviously helping each other out and giving each other tips and training together on a regular basis. So yeah, it's uh, you know, definitely a time where CBRE comes together for sure.